Hey everyone, just a, a quick little video demonstration showing you how to use the easy rubric mobile app to assess a class quickly and easily. And I should point out that this app is available completely for free. So uh, if you like what you see and you know, you want to take it and implement this yourself, then all you need is an iPad and you can head along and download. Uh, the app for free and hopefully get some value. So uh, the, the basic reason I, we release this app is quite frankly, I don't think there's any really good assessment apps that just focus on that. You know, there are a couple of good apps that have other features in them, um, but none that really sort of just focus in on assessment and using a rubric and helping you create them and doing that easily so that you can focus on, um, you know, more important things and not, not muck around with stuff that's not essential. So here's how it all works. Now, at the very um, basic level, you can create your own rubrics inside of the app itself. Now, I'm going to bring up my uh, iPad at the moment here so that you can follow along with what I do. And at, at its most basic level, you know, you can you can um, assess or sorry, create your rubrics in the app. So I could click this button here that said, create a new rubric manually. And if I did that, it would take me to this screen where I could, you know, I could put in a name for the rubric. Like so. And, you know, I could then go down to here and I could select the the number of assessment criteria and I could select the number of columns and all of those bits and pieces. Um, and then when I, you know, press next in the top right, I would be presented with this screen where I can put in my assessment criteria in these places and um, I can put in my or change the descriptors at the top. So you can go and create your own rubrics manually in the app. But what I actually wanted to show you in this video was how you can import one that you've previously uh, used before. Now, the only sort of thing that you need to be mindful of is that the, the format for import needs to follow the following example that you see. So you can see here that we've got the subject and the year group and the number of achievement descriptors, which is the one, two, three, four, five. They can be called whatever you like as well. And then down here, you've got your criteria. And if you remember from the app, we could create a new rubric with up to, you can see, 15 different criteria. So you could have all 15 um, different criteria here. And you call them obviously not criteria one, but criteria um, whatever you want to assess. And then these here. Now the scoring on the right, um, for, for simplicity's sake, I've just gone with an even score across all four criteria, but you could do whatever you like. So with that basic structure in mind, you can put in the different things that would identify that criteria being met at that um, level. So you know, probably the best scenario and the best thing to do here is to show you uh, another example. So if I go into, let's say, creative dance rubric, which we've, we've gone and made, we can see here that we're assessing on time, creative dance, spatial awareness, performance, um, and so forth. And these are the different criteria that match with those descriptors. So if a student was rarely dancing in unison and in rhythm, they would get limited uh, and so on and so forth. So we can take this criteria and in the app, this rubric, I should say, we can import it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, but I'm going to select the select existing rubric option, um, which appears on the screen. And in the top right, I'm going to hit import or Google drive, I should say, and right on the screen right now, I can look into this folder that I'm in on my Google Drive. And I'm going to go into this subfolder called Easy Rubric and into here. And I'm going to load the Creative Dance Rubric, which is down the bottom. And I'm just going to go back 
and back again in the top left and back one more time and you can now see that the rubric has been loaded so if I tap on that here it is this is the rubric in the app that was in Google Drive and if I click the validate button you can see it gets the tick that means it's all good it's all ready to be used so just like that I've taken a rubric that I made on my computer and I imported it into the app so here's the next step we can now assess using uh, this rubric and I'm just gonna get rid of some of the other distractions ar around so you can see it nice and clearly and you can see here that if I go into this option that says assess class well I have the option to pick the rubric I want and the year level or my subject or my class whatever that is and then I can hit next and this is what we're presented with so me as the teacher, I could be moving around the space or I could provide devices for kids to assess themselves. That's totally up to you. But you can see here just from this screen that uh, the name is at the top. You've got the different criteria that we had in the rubric. So if I just bring that back up for you, uh, we had time, creative dance, spatial awareness. They are appearing at the top. And then the different uh, achievement standards are appearing here. So for the first student in my class, which is me, Jared, I can now complete an assessment. So starting with time, I could say that students frequently dance in unison and in rhythm. So I've now got 62 out of that particular criteria, or I could you know, change it to 75, or I could drag this to be any score I liked. And then I move on to the next criteria, and that is creative dance components. So I'm going to say that Jared was satisfactory for this. Now, obviously, you'd spend more time during an actual assessment, but for the purpose of the demo. And for spatial awareness, I'm going to go up to developing. And for performance, satisfactory. Collaborative skills, also satisfactory. And I could then leave a comment. Now. One of the, the parts that we like the most about this is the ability to hit the student list, see a, a percentage score of what they got on that task, but then move through the rest of the group um, to come up with you know, an overall score for every person who participates. And you can see I can move on to the next person and the next person and the next person until all components have been completed so let me just finish off the last couple of people just literally so you can see how the report looks but just remember this is a free app all you have to do is import your rubric or create your rubric using the manual process and I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to say assessment save and what we get presented with is the following assessment report. So you can see the name, you can see all their criteria, what they scored for each different section and overall total. And if you made any comments, they would also be there. And then you can hit the button and you can export these to email, Google Drive, uh, for example. If I hit Google Drive now, that will take it to Google Drive. And then if I went back into my Google Drive that I connected, and clicked recent, I would actually be able to see um, the exported results um, appear once they, once they get there. So that is the Easy Rubric app. Um, super excited to, to share it with you. It is free, go and get it, go and download it, go and create some rubrics. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of links in this chat. If you want a couple of pre-made rubrics, that I've already done, just say the word rubric in the comments. Just leave the word rubric and I will connect you up with a couple of pre-made rubrics that I've already done so you can get a bit of a feel for how they look. Other than that, thank you for stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions.